11 days. Have you ever had a situation in your life where you, you feel distant from God, you feel like God's not coming through? You're waiting on a blessing from God and you're saying, God, well, where are you? Why are you not showing up, God? And God says, Matt, listen, I have this blessing for you. It, it's right here. But you're just wandering off in all different directions. The new iPhone just came out and you, you're more concerned about that stuff. And the next thing I know, I'm all the way over here. And God's blessing is there where I could have stepped right here. And then God's blessing, we get distracted. Israel got distracted. It took them 11 years to find the promise. It took them 40 years to find the promise of God that should have taken 40 days. 11 days. Listen. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. And we still have one service to go after this, okay? So bear with me, amen? Deuteronomy 7, okay? Deuteronomy 7, the title of my message today. It's complete victory. Dealing with, with our enemies completely. Deuteronomy chapter 7 is, is God's instructions for, for Israel to have complete victory and to, to have the complete promise and to deal with the things that they needed to deal with in order to step into that promise. Now, if you're new, if this is your first time, we're so excited that you're here. Uh, we're in the book of Deuteronomy. It's the fifth book of the Bible. Right close to the front, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Thank you, Awana, for that. It's page 150 in my Bible. Probably not the same, but maybe somewhere close. We're starting in verse 1. Are you there? Yeah. When the Lord your God brings you into the land that you are entering to take possession of it, he clears away many nations before you. The Hittites, the Girgashites, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Perizzites. The Hivites and the Jebusites. Seven nations more numerous and mightier than you. Have you ever been up against something in your life? Where you knew there was no way you could handle it? Something so big. You had no idea where to start. You had no idea where to go. That's where Israel was right here. And when the Lord your God gives them over to you and you defeat them. And this is, this is where it gets interesting. You must devote them to complete destruction. You shall make no covenant with them and show no mercy to them. You shall not intermarry with them, giving your daughters to their sons or taking their daughters for your sons. For they would turn away your sons from following me to serve other gods. Then the anger of the Lord will be kindled against you. Listen, if you're in that spot, that's not a good spot to be in. I never want to have the anger of the Lord kindled against me. I don't want to have the anger of my wife kindled against me. Not, never mind the anger of God, right? And he would destroy you quickly, fine. But thus shall you deal with them. You shall break down their altars and dash in pieces their pillars and chop down their air and burn their carbon and fire. Listen, this is God telling the Israelites how they're going to get to the promise. Okay, but he says right off the bat, listen, there's going to be, there's going to be difficulties. It's going to be tough. But don't worry about that because I've got it. I've given you the power to defeat them. In doing that, you need to, to listen to me. Listen to what I says. He says, he says Destroy them completely. Don't give, any, don't give any ground to them. Don't make any peace with them. Don't give, make any treaties with them. Don't get comfortable with them. They might not seem bad, but trust me, they're going to cause problems for you. These enemies are going to cause problems for you. Don't give way to them at all. Destroy them completely. Listen, if I'm going to have complete victory in my life, if I'm going to enjoy God's complete promise, number one, here we go, I need to deal with the enemy completely. That is, I need to deal with my sin completely. 